In this video, we will be looking at Windows Defender Smart Screen, also known as the Mark of the Web, MOTW. This is an additional security prompt that prevents users from clicking and executing a malicious file conveniently. Additional security prompts can help users to think twice before actually executing a malicious file. As shown in the screen, if a file such as an EXE is downloaded from the internet, and it is not a reputable, well-known file, Windows Defender's smart screen will be triggered. This does not apply to all files. You can download an .exe file from the internet and have the MOTW tag on the file, but not trigger smart screen. The MOTW tag can be seen under the file properties shown in the security field over here. This also applies even when you download it via a local IP address if you are using a browser, such as Microsoft Edge or Chrome. Let's transfer it over to our Kali machine on the same local network and download it back to demonstrate this. As shown in the screen, even when the .exe binary is downloaded via a local IP address, Mark of the Web MOTW still applies, and Smart Screen will be triggered. We can take a look at the actual definition of MOTW and how it is applied to a file. Let's use the get content command with PowerShell and extract the zone identifier stream of the file. As shown in the screen, if the zone ID value of a file is 3, it means that it is downloaded via a website and MOTW will apply. Years ago, there are several methods to bypass this, and one of the more popular tools to automate the bypass was Pack My Payload shown over here. In short, if a file is compressed within a container or compression file format such as ISO, the payload within the ISO file will not be tagged with MOTW. The container file itself will still be tagged, but the security prompt is less prominent compared to smart screen. This is no longer working, but let's take a look at how we can utilize the tool. After you git clone the project and install the Python requirements, we can use the script to build an ISO container file containing our 1MB EXE binary. Let's download it on our Windows machine. As shown in the screen, the ISO file itself has MOTW2, but the security prompt is less prominent as compared to smart screen. If we were to click inside the ISO container file, the 1MB EXE payload itself still has the MOTW tag on it, and this will trigger smart screen. As demonstrated, Popular MOTW bypasses such as using an ISO file is no longer working in 2025. What I personally like to do, and this was also demonstrated in my previous video, is to use a shortcut LNK file as a dropper to fetch the actual payload. This can circumvent the Windows Defender Smart Screen Security Prompt, but not the MOTW tag itself on the shortcut file. Let's demonstrate this. Let's create a shortcut file that will use PowerShell to download our 1MB EXE payload onto the victim's temp directory. Let's create a zip file which contains the shortcut LNK file only. Now let's hop back over to our Windows machine and download the free money zip file that we have created.
Let's open up the temp directory and show that the 1mbexe file is not in the folder yet. Now let's double click on the shortcut lnk file that we have created. As shown in the screen, the MOTW tag is this security prompt over here and not smart screen. If we were to click on the shortcut file, it will proceed to launch PowerShell and download our 1mbexe file, which was what we have configured. Did you see it? The security field is now missing in our 1mb file. This means that we have circumvented the MOTW tag on our exe payload. If we were to click on it now, smart screen is no longer triggering. Nice. Of course, this file doesn't do anything as it is just a sample exe file that we have downloaded. So why did this happen? Where is the MOTW tag? Apparently, the MOTW tag only applies if you use a browser to download the file. If you were to download it via, for example, PowerShell wget instead, the MOTW tag will not apply. We can test this out without the shortcut lnk file directly. We can see that the MOTW tag is there and the zone identifier has a value of 3. Now let's download the same file with PowerShell wget instead. As shown in the screen, the MOTW tag is missing. The zone identifier field is missing as well if we were to view it with PowerShell get content. This is a cool trick that you can use to utilize the shortcut lnk file to download your actual payload file to circumvent the blue windows smart screen security prompt. MOTW bypasses are very valuable as it can help facilitate phishing and increase the likelihood of your victim executing your payload. If you are interested, you can read more on MOTW bypasses yourself in your free time. This is another article that is worth reading. It explains more about MOTW and the zone identifier values. All references shown in the video will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check it out. This is it to today's video. I hope you have found it to be useful. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.